Welcome Earth Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message. Weekend commencing Friday the 5th of February through to Sunday the 7th of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us. Okay, so Earth Signs, your first crowning message card is within the next few weeks and perfect timing okay so those that i am reading for this weekend i feel as though you're being guided to know that within the next few weeks um whatever you're inquiring about um i feel as though it's gonna it's just gonna come together um basically um it feels as though divine spirit universe has been working in the background around um, wishes, intentions, manifestations or prayers um, that you've been asking for. I feel, I do feel as though this is around um, a romantic relationship. It could be around um, a work situation or a family situation, but um, you will see from the um, crowning wisdom message cards i feel as though this is very very um much around your romantic life at the moment um with within the next few weeks just be really mindful that um you know divine's timing is always perfect it is perfect timing i feel for you and the person that you are thinking about or a uh, job situation a family situation a business situation but just be aware that there is free will of others that's involved as well. So pay attention to that. Um, but I feel as though in, in essence, uh, it's perfect timing for you to see whatever it is you need to see or for you and this person to, uh, yeah, get on the same page, come into alignment with each other, I feel. Yeah, with the colours of the chakra of that rainbow um, coming into a line, a, a alignment, coming into balance. Okay. And for your... Just pop that there like that. All right. All right. And for your crowning wisdom message, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel as though um, Earth Signs, if you've been unsure about somebody that you're thinking about at the moment, I feel as though uh, keep an open mind. But it also could mean keep an open mind because there may be someone else in the background. Um, with the codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel as though this is more pertaining to you, Earth Signs. So I don't know whether or not you perhaps need to pay attention to um, maybe um, your health, um, what you're putting in your body. Maybe uh, you could be comfort eating or um, turn into alcohol or maybe even drugs i'm not feeling it as intense as that i feel as though it's more about your health to be honest with you um i feel like um overeating maybe getting a bit sluggish um and it could be simply because you may be um overthinking over analyzing about a particular person whereas there actually might be someone else in the background. So keep an open mind, focus on your health at the moment, focus on what you are putting in your body so that you can have that clarity of mind um, within the next few weeks of whatever it is you're supposed to see. Okay, Earth Signs, if that message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. Returning subscribers, um, welcome. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your donations. I am truly, truly grateful. 
all of you that are new to the channel, if you'd like to be notified when I'm uploading new messages, please feel free to click that subscription button. Um, let's get into your main love message. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 5th of February through to Sunday the 7th of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Okay. As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's start with our beautiful energies of Taurus. My angels, and thank you. First card out is <clears throat> the King of Cups, Taurus. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? How does the soulmate of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing. Oh, thank you. We've got the Two of Cups and the Star card. And for Virgo, please. Thank you. We have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Virgo, thank you. We have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Coins. Very nice, Virgo. And for Capricorns, please, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the, thank you, we have the Magician. Oh. That's supposed to be the right way up. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 5th. Thank you. And we have the Queen of Wands. Capricorn and one more please my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates thank you wow the three of cups very nice Capricorn all right all right so let us put Virgo to one side for a minute and Capricorns, we will just uh, pop you over. Oh, where are we going to pop you? I'm running out of space. I'll tell you what, let's put you over there and just put Capricorn over here. All right, so Tauruses, okay, we've got. The King of Cups, the Two of Cups and the Star card. So whoever you are thinking about Cap um, Taurus is, sorry, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Not that Capricorn is coming up. We've got Aquarius jumping out here. Um, so Taurus is, you could be dealing with somebody that has Aquarius in their chart or you may have um, Aquarius in your chart. As I said, Capricorn, you may be resonating with a Capricorn or you may have Capricorn in your chart, but not necessarily. Whoever you are connecting with, male or female, I feel as though they have a lot of love for you and they're coming towards you definitely within the next few weeks, as I feel as though it's perfect timing for them to come in towards you um, around um love emotion unconditional and i feel as though you i feel as though you know who this person is you know who this person is because both of you don't want to let go of each other um uh both of you i, I this is my twin flame card i feel as though both of you see each other as each other's ultimate soulmate 
or twin flame. This person is coming towards you with this cup of love, um, not wanting to let go of you. You could be across the waters. You could be of different ethnicity, eth ethnicity, ethnicity ethnic backgrounds, <laughs> excuse me there, Taurus, or, um, you know, different faiths, different beliefs, but I feel as though you're coming together, not wanting to let go of each other. It's perfect timing. It feels as though the universe is aligning both of you together. For you, Taurus, I feel as though this person is your wish fulfillment. Um, and I feel as though divine spirit universe is letting you know that you have lived past life's with this person for sure. So keep an open mind um, because this soulmate may differ from your um, usual type. So this resonates with that two of cups. You may be of different backgrounds, different cultures, um, different faiths, different religion, different um, viewpoints. But I feel as though it's perfect timing for you both to come in together. With this codependency, um, Taurus, because you see this person as your wish fulfillment, I almost feel as though um, you may have um, maybe kept your kept your distance. I feel because you you just you just not you just wasn't sure, and I feel that's why you're being told to keep an open mind, and as a result, you may be feeling a bit anxious a bit unsure, a bit insecure, perhaps. And that could be coming out in, um, you know, um, your health uh, in terms of perhaps um, not doing as much exercise, perhaps not doing so much self-care, um, maybe eating really poorly, maybe comfort eating. Um, you could be drinking a little bit too much. Um, and it just feels as though it's because there's just uncertainty of how this person feels about you because deep on a soul level you really do connect with this person um but i feel as though in the next few weeks this person is coming in quite strongly with this cup of love because now is the time for you and this person to come into union let's have a look at your clarifiers my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does these soulmates of taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Thank you. So we have, yeah, we have got the Strength cards coming up. Could be dealing with a Leo um, Taurus. Um, also, I feel as though this person knows that you feel this with them. Um, using every bit of strength and courage to come in with emotion towards you. To keep an open mind. Whoops. Okay. Then we have, yeah, we've got the Queen of Wands. We have, wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords. That's what I was, that's what I was picking up, um, Taurus, on your side. I feel as though you've been, you feel really unsure about how this person's feeling about you. <clears throat> to the point where you feel a little bit broken hearted and that's where this codependency is coming from it's as though you may be <clears throat> how can i put it almost kind of you may feel as though this person showing interest or being reciprocal to um you in some shape form or another to you might feel as though it's validating you in some way. And I feel as though that's what you need to kind of be a, a, be a careful about because, um, you know, it. I feel as though if we love ourselves first, that's what we then put out to the universe, spirit, divine universe, and that's what we receive back. Um, I'm a great believer that self-love has to be first and foremost, um, and really nobody should validate you in any way. But I, what I'm picking up is that this person, you may be looking for some sort of validation from this person and you weren't getting it. And I feel as though it kind of broke your heart for a hot minute, but that's changing with this Wheel of Fortune. This connection is fated in some way. They're using every bit of strength and courage to come towards you with this cup of love. Um, 
they see you as this queen of wands energy male or female it doesn't matter i feel as though they see you as somebody that is passionate free-spirited beautiful handsome um independent and they are supposed to come towards you with this cup of love it, it this is a fated connection it's perfect timing and i feel as though this is going to come within the you know next few weeks you may also feel as though this person may break your heart or you know that's why you may be guided with the wisdom to keep an open mind it's like i, I just feel as though there's something to do with you feeling lack in some shape form or another or not worthy of this person and it could be because you're of different cultures different backgrounds it almost feels as though like why would this person even give me a, a, a second look even though you feel this person very deeply but I feel as though it may be affecting you in, in a codependent way and that's what I feel that you need to be be mindful of because it is perfect timing for this person to come in and I feel as though your spirit team may be coming in and saying that within the next few weeks it's up to you to um, almost kind of go within, ground yourself, apply some self-love, keep an open mind, raise your vibration so that this person can come in quite effortlessly in the next few weeks. Thank you. And yeah, I feel as though you do want to put in the work. You want to put the work in, but you, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to have, a, you don't want to have your heart broken either. And that's where this codependency comes in. It's like, love yourself first. Um, you know, anybody that comes in that you're already starting off on the foot, that they, they may break your heart is almost like, not the best vibration to start something with or to um encourage this person to come in because it's almost as if you 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 you've kind of poo-pooed the relationship before it's even started so keep an open mind um taurus as the card says your advice and look we've got um the uh star coming out again um so i feel as though you want to put the work in because you strongly do feel as though you are really really connected with this person <clears throat> and i feel as though that's where that fear is that they may break your heart but just know that this is a fated connection with this wheel of fortune here and with the star car coming out twice i feel as though um you know deep down that you've lived many, many lives with this person. But I feel that you may have some residual work to do over the next few weeks around codependency. As I say, raising your vibration so that you can invite the positive energy of this person because they're trying to use every bit of strength and courage to come towards you. But if you're fearing heartbreak um, or you are still going through heartbreak, um, and they may be picking up on that energy. So I feel as though you're coming in with the wisdom here in the next few weeks. Just focus on any codependency. They also may be quite codependent um, on... How can I... Not codependent on you, but they may be quite nervous. They may be quite nervous coming towards you as well they may also be going through um a, a phase of um anxiety fear that you might break their heart or they may see you as um getting over a broken heart but you want to definitely put the effort in for sure all right, let's have a look at your advice cards. Woo, okay, that was came out without me even really shuffling. So this was the first one. Oh, look at that. Love will get you through. Absolutely, believe, believe. Perfect timing. Um, keep an open mind. And look, you are never alone. Believe. Okay, believe seems to be coming through for you quite... Um, 
love will get you through. Did I just say believe? And then it says here, you you are never alone. Believe. I'll have to look back at this reading because I'm sure I just said believe and then believe came out. And then it says here, your soul has made many journeys. Listen to its wisdom. You have lived many lives with this person. And I feel as though your advice is coming in to say that what you're thinking and feeling around this past life connection is 100% spot on. Um, and it is perfect timing for you to cut guys to come in to union with each other. So listen to your wisdom, um, a, a particularly if you are um, fearing that they're going to break your heart. I feel as though divine spirit is saying, look, you've got a few weeks to sort out that codependency um, of um, maybe feeling lack feeling that this person need you need validation from this person in some way just know that love is going to get you through um you are not alone your spirit team is around you and they're saying to you it's perfect timing um just do some work on yourself i feel listen to the wisdom within you because you have you're spot on you know that you've lived past lives with this person okay wow all right, let's move on to our Virgos. All right. So Virgos, we have, for, sorry, this way round. Virgos, we have for you the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the Page of Coins. Okay, so I feel as though this person wants to communicate with you in the next few weeks because you make them happy all right and i feel as though they're going to communicate um quite strongly with you that that um you make them happy because i feel as though it's it's perfect timing for you both to come into union you want to have a serious conversation and i feel as though you're being guided to keep an open mind wait a few weeks allow this person um, to come towards you with communication about how they feel. Um, you may be quite codependent um, or they could be quite codependent on, you know, possibly. Um, actually, let's do the let, let's do the clarifications before I talk too much, because um, you do want to have a serious conversation around how this person makes you happy they want to communicate to you how yeah look they want to put in the work or they realize work has been put in and it's now time to kind of reap the rewards it's time it's perfect timing for you both to come together do you know what it feels like um virgo this feels as though it this is a friendship this is a friendship that um you're being guided, they're being guided to keep an open mind to because it may be somebody that you've got a really, really good friendship with and it seems to be progressing to that next level because a lot of work, look at that, we've got the seven of coins and the eight of coins. It, it feels as though this person sees that you've put a lot of work in or they've put a lot of work in and they want to they're waiting to reap the rewards waiting in the next few weeks to come in and communicate that you do actually make them happy um and it's time to move things to another level move that friendship to more of a romantic relationship so keep an open mind okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does the soulmate of Virgo? Thank you. Okay. So we have got, oh gosh, okay, let's put these here. So yeah, we've got the Hermit and we've got the Queen of Swords. So I feel as though this person has gone within trying to make wise decisions, probably seeking guidance, trying to keep an open mind, whether or not you, this is your energy coming in as that queen of swords. Um, they may see you as somebody that's quite blunt, quite cutting. And it's like they are trying to keep an open mind because they may feel as though you've got to shut them down in some shape, form or another of taking things to the next level. So they've gone within um, trying to seek guidance, wisdom to come in and let you know that that you make them happy. 
And then look, we've got the um, King of Cups, which I feel is their energy coming in. You, I feel, see already, you may already know that this person has got a lot of emotion for you. Okay, and you may want to have this conversation with them. Mm, but you may walk away and then judgment, reconciliation. All right, so this weekend, um, Virgo, this feels as, as if this might be moving into um, next week. But I feel as though you suspect this person has got um, a lot of emotion for you and you already I think are ready to have a serious conversation. Um, now, this eight of cups could mean that you are walking away from a friendship and moving into more of a romantic relationship, hence reconciliation um, on a soul level. However, it could also represent that as this person comes in communicating how much you make them happy, you may pull back your energy for a hot minute. And that's where I feel that you're being guided to keep an open mind and you may, you may, you may also go within, they may also go within really thinking about what is it they've said to you. Um, because I feel as though their fear is, is that you're going to cut them down or shut them down. And it feels as though that you might, but at the same breath, I feel as though going into next week, you may think about it for a hot minute and you may want to get things back on an even keel. Virgos, I'll be honest with you, you from your viewpoint, you may just see this person as a friend. But that a lot of work has got in, gone into this connection. They've put in a lot of work. This connection has really been um, nurtured by both of you, I feel. All right. You could be dealing with somebody that's got Virgo in their chart. But it feels as though you may want to just remain friends, almost walking away um, from this cup of love that they're coming towards you with. But then I think I feel as though you're going to really think about it for a hot minute, realizing that this person does make you happy and then you're going to want to reconcile. So keep an open mind and just know it is perfect timing for you and this person to um, <clears throat> move to that next level. Let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice for the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Love for weekends commencing <clears throat> Friday the 5th of February through, thank you. So your first advice, you need to put... You need to put the music back into your life, okay? So, Virgo, it feels as though you're being guided to, dare I say it, take a bit of a chill pill because it looks like you're going to walk away from this cup of love that this person, male or female, is coming in with, but then you're going to re rethink it um, and then want to reconcile. So, you know, I feel as though you're being guided to almost chill a little bit. Um, this is this is perfect timing for you and this person. And then we've got here, your loved ones are guiding you from above. Your animals in spirit are showering you with their love. I feel as though, um, Virgos, I feel as though you're going to be really apprehensive when this person comes with their communication to tell you how much that they care about you, um, wanting to move to a, the next level um, of a friendship. Um, and I feel as though you already suspect that that's the road that they're going down um, and you may turn your back on it. And I feel as though you're being guided to know to A, take a bit of a chill pill, relax, go with the flow. It is perfect timing for you and this person to come together. Your loved ones, um, if you are if you are um, animal lovers, um, I feel as though look out for your animal totems. Look out for animals um, that have passed over if you are 
um, a pet person or animal person um, and know that your I feel like your spirit team is really around you at the moment it almost feels as if they're trying to encourage you really keep an open mind with this connection because you may not see um, this perhaps right now as a romantic connection but I feel that your spirit team is coming in and saying look Virgo this is perfect timing um, you know you may even feel that they're a little bit codependent on you that's why you want to have this serious conversation and I feel as though you're being guided to just know that actually there's a lot more to this connection than you're giving credit for so um yeah, keep an open mind, uh, Virgos. All right. And finally, our beautiful Capricorns. All right. We have the Magician, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, Capricorns, I feel as though the person that you're connecting to is wishing, manifesting, hoping that in the next few weeks that um, they can come into union with you. I feel as though this is your energy, Queen of Wands, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though they see you as somebody that's independent, passionate, creative, beautiful, handsome, um, very free-spirited. And I feel as though they are um, they are wishing, manifesting to come into union with you. Um, and I feel as though by the end of the weekend, there's going to be some sort of clarity um, around how this person's feeling about you, um, that you're going to want to celebrate, that you're going to want to meet, you want to spend some time. And I feel that that's going to happen in the next few weeks. It feels as though this is perfect timing for you and this person to come into union. Um, so keep an open mind. They may be a little bit codependent on your energy. They're, I feel as though it, there's something about you, Capricorn, um, that is quite inspiring to this person. Um, and I feel as though you are, I feel as though you, you are keeping an open mind. Um, they may be very different to, you know, who you would normally go for. Um, or again, very similar to Virgo, they could be somebody that's a, a really good friend, somebody that you are getting to know. Um, maybe you feel as though, you know, they don't um, feel the same way perhaps you feel um, about spending time with each other, wanting to celebrate th this connection. I feel as though you're being guided to keep an open mind because they probably feel a lot more for you than you realise. And I feel as though it's all going to be illuminated to you in the next few weeks. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does oops, these soulmates of Capricorn Sun, thank you. We have, yeah, look at that, the nine of pentacles. This person sees you um, as beautiful. Look, they want to communicate. They see you as somebody that's independent, beautiful, handsome, wise, somebody that doesn't want for much. You've got, you know, a, a quite a comfortable environment. Um, and I feel as though they're wishing to be around you um, and wanting to communicate um, perhaps how they feel towards you. And look, yeah, they want to rush in <laughs> and speak their truth um, for sure. Absolutely. So that's what they're coming in to communicate. Um, they hold you in high regard, I feel. I feel like they hold you in high regard. Let's. Con OK, that's too many. I think that was bad shuffling as well, to be fair, for a big pile like that to come out. My ain't. Thank you. Thank you. And look, we've got that page of pentacles. I feel as though you want to have a serious conversation with this person. You think about them all the time. And I feel as though you're waiting with that three of wands. You're wait I feel as though you're waiting for this person to come forward. Okay. Um, keeping an open mind. They may be going through a process of keeping an open mind, of coming 
um, into union with you, wanting to communicate, speaking their truth. I feel as though you want to have a serious conversation because I feel as though you think about this person on a daily basis. You may also be wishing, hoping to celebrate this connection. You're waiting. You're waiting to meet this person. You're waiting to come into you and you think about them all the time. Um, but I, I feel as though this person may not have been very reciprocal to your emotions or your gestures or like it's like I feel as though maybe you feel like they haven't got it they haven't clocked that you really do like them um they do okay and I feel as though this weekend they're starting that process of coming towards you to communicate to speak their truth and I feel as though in the next few weeks um, it's it's going to become very, very clear that this person does want to communicate, does want to uh, come in and let you know how much um, they admire you. You know, um, they may be quite codependent on your energy, um, but I feel as though you're waiting to celebrate this connection, waiting to see them, meet them, be with them, be in their in their energy space um, because you think about them all the time. So keep an open mind because whatever this conversation is coming in towards you, it's perfect timing um, for you guys to perhaps get together, move to that next stage of a friendship, of um, moving more towards a romantic connection. Okay. Let's have a look at your advice. My angels and spirit guides of the of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice, please? Thank you. And then your first advice, it says, ask your inner self the answer to your question. So if the answer to your question is, is this person thinking about me, wanting to celebrate this connection, to meet with me because I think about them all the time. Um, I feel as though your spirit team is saying, ask your inner self, go within um, because you have the answer to the question. Keep an open mind. What you think is what you create, absolutely. So I feel as though Capricorn, um, keep an open mind. Um, recognize that if this person hasn't been very reciprocal in the past it has been very much a friendship just getting to know each other even though you think about this person all the time keep your vibration up i feel as though you have the answer within you um and by keeping your vibration up keeping that positivity um, I feel as though this serious conversation that you want to have you're going to find that they also are going to want to have a conversation and look at that your final card what seems impossible is possible believe believe this is perfect time for you and this person um to come into union so keep an open mind for sure capricorns okay earth signs i'm going to leave that there if this message is resonating for you please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video it just helps to push this video out to more earth signs out there um also um if you would like to know when i am uploading new messages please feel free to click that click that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Um, I'm truly, truly grateful. And as I say, it just notifies you of when I'm uploading the weekend readings, the weeklies, the monthlies, uh, the yearlies are already on the playlist on the channel. So check those out. And also as well, um, Capricorns, Virgos and Tauruses, um, if you want any more information, please check out the description box below. Um, all that good stuff is there, particularly if you do want to follow me on Instagram. Other than that, um, until next weekend, next week, um, I'm going to send you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care of yourself. Bye bye.